Hi, folks. We're hearing a lot of questions about the SEC's climate proposal, and I thought I would just give a brief update here. First, a quick reminder of what's in the SEC's proposed rule. The proposal contains three essential elements. First, it would require companies to disclose information about their climate-related financial risks substantially in accordance with the Task Force on Climate-Related Financial Disclosures, or TCFD. Second, companies would be required to disclose their greenhouse gas emissions. And third, they would have to include a note to their financial statements about the financial impacts of climate change on their company. The TCFD provisions would require companies to disclose their governance structures over climate-related risks, their methods of identifying climate-related physical and transition risks, their strategy for addressing those risks, and the metrics that they use to measure progress. The proposal would require all public companies to disclose their scopes one and two greenhouse gas emissions and would require larger public companies to disclose their scope three emissions where scope three emissions are material or where the company has scope three reduction targets. The note to the financial statements would require companies to disclose the financial impact of climate change on their individual financial line items if the impact is 1% or more of the line item. Now, the big question, when will the rule be finalized? We don't really know, but the SEC's regulatory flexibility agenda has it on the first half of 2023. But at this point, it's unclear if that timing is on track. Let's remember, however, that as the SEC works to finalize its climate disclosure rule, the rest of the world is not standing still. Both European and International Sustainability Standards Board Climate Reporting Standards are on track to be finalized around the end of June 2023. What do we expect to be in the final rule and what will be changed? We'll have to wait to see what the Commission comes out with, but the most controversial items are Scope 3 emissions and the financial statement disclosures. And these could certainly be changed. We'll just have to see. We do know that the rules will be challenged in court. Some of the bases for challenge are allegations that the SEC exceeded its authority, that it didn't follow proper procedures, and even that the rules violate the First Amendment. Given this uncertainty, what should companies do? Should companies wait to prepare? No, companies need to get ready now. Why? CFOs should view climate disclosure as their number one new priority, particularly for companies in high emitting industries or operating in locations subject to physical climate risk. This is more than just a tick the box exercise. This is a new way to succeed in business moving forward. Climate disclosure is not going away particularly for larger global companies. To comply with reporting requirements in other jurisdictions, including the EU and potentially California, which has a couple of climate disclosure bills making their way through the state Senate that would require many companies doing business in California to disclose scopes one, two, and three emissions. Also, companies, investors, and business partners have made net zero commitments, and this will put pressure on them to report. And most importantly, because it's good business. Climate risk is financial risk. And the sooner companies begin to mitigate their risks and take advantage of the opportunities, the more resilient and competitive they'll be. So what are we doing to help? Well, we're telling companies how to prepare and we're talking about the power of technology like Persephone's carbon accounting software to facilitate reporting making it easier to report, and making data more transparent and more reliable. Technology will enable network effects, which will make data much more readily available to all. So how do you best prepare? Companies will be held accountable, not only for climate disclosures, but also for data management. The bottom line, companies need to focus on controls and reliability. Second, companies will need to focus on greenhouse gas emissions, this is about building internal carbon accounting capabilities, the talent, systems, and technology necessary to achieve compliance. The bottom line, scope three matters regardless of the SEC's final rules. This is because of rules coming out of the European Union and from stateside legislation like we're seeing take shape in California. And no, it will get easier over time. It's a process. Finally, 
pay attention to the disclosure landscape. We know what to expect, but regulatory developments are happening around the world at a rapid pace, and they will all have an impact on the landscape of reporting. Remember, don't wait. It's time to get ready. We're here to help. Thank you all. Learn more about how Persephone is built for SEC climate disclosure at persephone.com slash SEC.